Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 18, and this is war number four. And we're going up against an alliance called Ultimate Alliance Originals. So I've already scouted out my path, and I'm going in with my Omega Red, Gladiator Hulk, and I'm bringing in Warlock. He's my most recent rank five, and I want to take him out for a spin. So they didn't place a defender on that first node, uh, which is common. And I see that they placed a Gladiator Hulk up on my path. So I said, all right, will the real Gladiator Hulk please stand up? So I was ready to rock this Gladiator Hulk and show him who the real Gladiator Hulk was. And then it just kept spinning and spinning and spinning. For the first fight, I'm not even getting a chance to fight. It's just spinning. I can't tell you how frustrated I was at this point. And I think it's a great time to discuss a little Alliance War. Now, what you saw me do there, uh, sometimes if I just, I don't close the uh, game, but if I just kind of, you know, minimize it and, and restore it, Sometimes that will jump start it and it will, you know, reconnect and I'll be okay. But it didn't work and it's just spinning. So I'm at this point telling my alliance, you know, this is why I don't like Alliance War in the first place and blah, blah, blah. You know, this has happened to a number of them uh, in the past. It's not happened to me in a very long time. It's been many seasons since something like this happened to me. But I don't like Alliance War in the first place. I do it because of the rewards. If they were to give me an alternate way of getting the same rewards, I wouldn't do Alliance War. Uh, I was the number one proponent of going AQ focus. I actually liked AQ. And even though they tried to ruin it by putting in nodes like Vivified, um, I still prefer Alliance Quest over Alliance War. And there's not really a whole lot that Kabam can do. I just don't like that game mode, period. Uh, I know Rich the Man mentioned that he thinks it should just be destroyed and something else put in its place. I agree. Um, but there are a lot of people that love Alliance War. And if you're watching this video, you may be one of them, and that's fine. The very reasons that a lot of people like Alliance War are the very reasons I don't like Alliance War. For example, deaths. Like, this is going to count as a death, even though I haven't uh, fought and I didn't really die. It's going to count as a death. I'm going to lose half my health, and now I have to be worried if that death will be the reason we lose a war. So it's a lot more pressure and all the deaths are meaningful, but that's the very reason people like Alliance War. They like that tension. They like that pressure. Uh, they like the adrenaline rush that it gives them. But I don't. I don't like it at all. I am not an adrenaline junkie. I don't appreciate that kind of pressure in a game that I'm playing for fun. Okay. So I'm sitting here and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to let it spin. And I had already planned to let that spin include it in the video so that you guys could see some of the things that happened to us in Alliance War. Uh, it used to be that I would record all of the little issues that I had, but people didn't like me complaining, you know, a whole lot. So I stopped doing that, you know, dropped inputs and, you know, timing seemed to be off the, you know, AI recovering a little bit faster than it should. Things like that. All right. So finally, I said enough. We're going to just force close. And I'm like, and I know what's going to happen. I know when we get back in, half my health is going to be gone and it's going to count as a death. Um, but at least I didn't lose my champion. 
That's about the only positive that comes out of this. I don't know what they would be able to do in order to, you know, handle this without it being abused, because uh, that's the problem. They could put something in place, but it would be abused. So as you can see there, I lost half my health and it counted as a death. We only have two attack bonuses now. Fun. What a great way to start this war. No fight and already lost an attack bonus and half my health. Now I'm not worried about being at half health with my gladiator Hulk. On this path, he is reigning supreme. And another Gladiator Hulk is not enough to concern me. That's why I didn't even bother to heal up or anything like that. No boost, nothing. He doesn't need it. Um, and he took down that Gladiator Hulk like it was nothing. And I admit, I was not happy while I was fighting. So I may have taken it out a little bit on that Gladiator Hulk. So sorry, but not sorry. All right. So... Uh, it wasn't um, cleared, but when I came back, they had already taken care of it, you know, which is what normally happens unless I'm really late and they go ahead and clear it for me. Uh, but now we're going to go on to section two. And in section two, at least at this tier, all you have to deal with are immunities. It's not empowered immunity, just immunities. So pretty easy. Um, this season should be the last time that you'll see me fighting at this tier. All right, um, but we're going up against uh, Guillotine and my Omega Red is just gonna wreck her. Not a difficult fight whatsoever. Uh, even if she were managed uh, to hit me and put a bleed on me, all that does is fuel and give him that death field, you know? So she went down without too much difficulty there. All right, now the next fight up is also on an immune node. And if I had brought in Mystic Champions, this fight could have been really rough, but I did not. So I was looking at it and I was trying to think because really any of my champions could take out this human torch. But I decided to go ahead in with Omega Red just for fun. But yeah, Gladiator Hulk could have. Um, I didn't feel like healing him up uh, and I wouldn't have gone in without healing him if I wanted to use him. And just look at that. Omega Red just wrecked that human torch. Uh, Human Torch, if he goes up against Mystics, can do some nasty damage. But if you see him coming, if you know you're going to have to fight him, you can take him out. You don't want to fight him with a Mystic or anyone that does energy-based attacks. I learned that the hard way. Like Magneto, don't fight him with a Magneto. All right, so they uh, cleared the second mini. And I had already looked down at the uh, mini boss island here and I was eyeing that havoc for a while my warlock is hungry and so I'm like okay looked around I said I'm gonna take that havoc no nobody seemed to want him and warlock is a great awesome havoc counter uh, he gets class advantage first of all and he gets a permanent armor up buff. And if you're unfamiliar, that permanent armor up buff means I don't have to worry about Havoc's plasma detonations because that's usually what wrecks people. If you don't have a counter, you know, power drain or the armor up buffs, then it's a race. You gotta try to, you know, over you know, damage him as fast as possible and take him down quickly before his plasmas take you out. But I'm able to, you know, play this pretty regularly, you know, slowly, normally with a Warlock. Now I'm still not used to fighting with Warlock. 
and I am running suicides. But as you can see, Warlock is just ripping him a new one. Now, my Warlock is not awakened, and I would like to awaken him. Uh, that extra degen would help out a lot, but I don't think he's worth a generic. But if I get a tech awakening gem or, you know, um, if I can dupe him naturally, that would be awesome. But down went Havoc. And uh, anytime I see a Warlock, I mean, I see a Havoc, I'm going to bring in Warlock. All right, so we'll be back and we'll find out how we did. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. So far, we have not lost a war this season. Let's hope that continues. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. <laughs>